This is Captain Chris Myers of Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. What I'm going to show you today is how to tie a simple but effective redfish fly, one that I use all the time. It's an idea that I got from a friend of mine, Captain John Comiskey, and uh, I prefer to tie it in black. You can tie yours in any color that you wish, but it's super easy to tie. Anybody can do it, and here's the finished product. And we're going to make one in just a matter of a couple of minutes. You only need three things. You need a a hook, you need a little something to make the tail. I use rabbit soccer and I use black and pearl chenille and a lead eye, so that's four things. First thing we do is put the hook in. I use a number four. You can use a mustad 3407 or if you prefer stainless you use a 3407 DT. I like to use ultra thread 210 and the first thing we do is get the eye on We'll do that real quick. I have a red eye. It's easy to see. You don't have to use red. You can use any color you want. Plain works just as good. These are extra small eyes and this fly is going to ride hook up when we're finished if we do it correctly. There's the eye. Take this thread, wind it back, and get ready to tie in the tail. And like I said, I'm using rabbit zonker. If you don't have rabbit, you can use uh, feathers, you can use any kind of fur, you could use bucktail if you had to. I like rabbit because it breathes nicely. When I put this rabbit soccer on, I want to make sure A, that it's short, and I'm going to put it so that the skin side is up. The skin side up. I'm going to tie it in. And since we want this thing to ride hook up, we don't want this tail sticking straight out the back. Because if we do, it's going to cause the fly to turn over and ride just like it is that we have in the vise. If you leave it like that, the fly is probably going to flip over and ride this way and catch in the grass. So we're going to take that fly and start tying it up the bend of the hook a little bit. So that when the fly is done, you can see how that, the uh, tail wants to point upwards. That will help your fly ride correctly. So at this point you can add a little dab of glue. I use hard as nails. That will help your tail from falling out. The next thing we're going to do is tie in the body. I use black and pearl chenille. And if you have a rotary vise this step's super easy but if you don't it's still pretty simple. I'm going to start tying that in right at the bend of that hook. and just wrap it around. You can make this body as thick as you want. It doesn't have to be super thick. And wrap it right up to the lead eyes. And tie that off with three wraps real quick. And cut it. Now our fly is done except for our weed guard. And every place I'm going to be fishing this is going to be in the grass, on the flats, and I don't want grass getting on my fly, so I'm going to tie in the weed guard. So I just flip it over. You can use whatever size you think you're going to need. I like to use a little short piece of 40 pounds, so when I'm fishing real thick grass, it helps keep that off. And what I do is just take a little short piece of mono, bend it in half, take my needle nose pliers and flatten that thing out so it stays in a V shape when I put it on the hook. Stick it on right in front of the eyes. Start wrapping around. You can come in front. You can trim these off so that they're even and they're as long as you want them. So now I have my weed guard. I just put a little whip finish on here with four wraps. And there's my finished fly. As you can see it took us only two minutes or so, maybe three. A little dab on the on the head and on the head and the top of the eyes. 
and now our finished product is easy to cast, it's really durable and it's super effective on redfish and black drum and we've even caught quite a few big trout when you're throwing the redfish so run over and grab this thing as well so that's our finished fly a simple but effective redfish fly for the flats of East Central Florida